Get me, get me, get me out of here. <laughs> Breathe in, breathe out, repeat. Escaped engineering. Okay. I need to get warm. Jesus. Use heaters to get warm. I was wondering if, since we had a ability to like, at stop. heaters, Fuck. if we had to watch our temperature. Thinking Just stop thinking about it. Jesus. Jesus. Right. All right. Sufficiently warmed up, if that's what you want to call it. Is there anyone here? Hello? If there's anybody here, fucking say something. Where am I going? Roy! No, 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 he's not here, fuck. I have to go around the crew lounge. And try the galley. <gasps> please, please be there, mate. Okay, I have to go around the crew lounge to the galley. Wait. Oh, I see. I have to. I see. Okay, I see. I see. I see. I see. <sighs> You in there? Oh, whoa. Trots? Trots, is that you? I can't hear you, man. Open the door. Trots, the door's blocked. I can't get to you. What's up, wee man? Are you hurt? Jesus Christ. Jesus, Trots! Trots! Um. You know what? I'm not gonna ask. Oh, look at the light went away. I don't want to be here. Oh yeah, can you give a shout out to Jack as well? Both Old Bear and Jack are friends. Oh dear God, are friends of the channel and also amazing streamers, both respectively. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh my god, look at that's horrifying. <sighs> Hello? I don't like that I hear something rustling. Bloody hell, fire! Get in, quick. Thank God you're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? What do you think I'm doing in here? What the bloody hell is going on? I don't know. People are dying, Roy. Dead? Who? who who's, who's dead? How? Uh, Douglas. Trots, I think. I, I don't know. It's, it's this thing. I, I think it's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe. You know what I mean? I do. I really do. I saw something out on the deck. I didn't stay to look. It just scared the shit out of me. I should barricade the door. We can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the fuck now. What, without Rennick say so? Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? He'd want everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the North fucking Sea. <sighs> right. The lifeboats, then? Aye. You stay. Barricade the door. Let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. Getting some extra prayers in. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need them. Gaz, um... You, you won't leave me. Never. Uh, it's bloody terrifying out there. I'm not leaving you, pal. I wouldn't blame you if you did, mate. I mean, you've got all the food in here for a start. <laughs> Listen. Your man upstairs on the case. And I'll see you soon, right? Why am I in the cold storage? 
Oh, you want me to crawl through the hole? Look at all this food and stuff. Anything to read here? You enjoy your ciggy. Goodbye. I mean, I could have just gone through the fucking door, but whatever. Oh. Oh, good. Where am I going? Go to get access to the lifeboats. Oh, that just gave me the ick. Jesus. Oh, look at the faces. Things locked. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my heat. Oh, fucking hell. What is that? Oh, fuck. Maybe I can go through the laundry. I think we found Cthulhu. Oh my god. Oh my god. Remember when I got fired and I thought that was the worst thing that could happen to us? Break. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Give me that. Hello? Anybody in here? Southwest 7 to severe gale 9. Storm 10 is in Rough or very of I hide in this? Southwest 6 to gale 8. Perhaps severe gale 9 later. Rough or very Squally No way through. German by Six. Oh, shit! This <sighs> isn't gonna open. Oh, that thing's filled with gross. Life bolts, life bolts. I think that jumping into the ocean would be better. <laughs> if I couldn't get to a lifeboat, I would just Christ. jump into the ocean. Who am I going to get done there? Oh, cool. Shit. Everybody's getting killed. Oh, oh good. Fuck. Attention crew of the Vera. All personnel need to get to the nearest evacuation point. Don't you all get too excited now. You'll all be back at work in 15 minutes once I get all this nonsense straightened out. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Man's delusional. Living in Delulu land. So bad. I'm 
so bad at quick time buttons. Oh. Jesus Christ. I don't want to be here. Just get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to be here. Give me... Uh, Roy, I'm so sorry. You know, I did appreciate you, Roy, and I was going to, you know, stay. Can I get this one open? No but chance. I'm starting to think that the minute that I find the lifeboat, I'm just gone, pal. Oh, God. Oh, no. I wouldn't leave Roy. I shouldn't leave Roy. Oh, come on. You're joking me. Oh, that's got a hole in it. This one's borked. Oh, thank Christ. Okay, this one's fine. Repair, prepare the lifeboat? How does one prepare a lifeboat? Can I open it? How do I prepare a lifeboat? Remove safety pins from both arm cradles. Engage brake lever to swing boat into boarding position. Embark crew and visitors. Secure hatches below. Clear below. Check clear below. Lower lifeboat into water. Start engine. Steer away from rig. This is terrifying. I don't know if you should be removing these pins right under it. Right. Okay. Now the lever. Get it into position. Nearly out of this. No! I mean, wouldn't it? For Christmas, I'm deploy the light boat. <laughs> Let's call our friend and be like, hey, listen, we fucked up. Can I go up here now? Nope. Locked. Oh, hey, look. Who's that? Renick, it's me, Kaz. McLaren, what the fuck are you doing to my life boats? It's gone. It's just fell off into the fucking sea. You must have done it wrong. Fuck off, Rennick! You built this fucking thing, not me! Who's with you? Uh, Roy's in the canteen. Finley and Brody are alive. Listen to me, McClary. Get your ass up to the chopper pad. Bring anyone else you can find to. And whatever you do, don't touch this stuff all over the bearer. I can't, I can't get back out. There's a safety door. The railings are all gone. For God's sake, do I have to tell you how to do everything? Give the door a tidy kick at the bottom. It'll open right enough. What about you? Just concentrate on getting to the pad. Don't worry about me. You see, Renick? What? Well, does this mean we're okay, like? No hard feelings? Get to fuck, McClary. And when you get back, fuck off again. <laughs> I'd be happy to see you drown, but I'm not having your death on my fucking record. Go on your cell, you old fud. Damn. I need a donut after that. We're taking a brief intermission so that I can go get a donut. Oh, that looks great. Shite. Find nearby fire extinguishers to eliminate the fire. Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. Fahrenheit 0451. Back into the hellhole that is this place. Who's that? A 
Kaz, Ennis, what's Kaz, going on? I, I need help. I, I don't know what to do. I can't. What was that? Something's happening to me. Oh, no. Ennis. Ennis! Look. Hmm. Thank God I didn't turn the yellow off, or else this game would be hard to figure out what you were looking for. Maybe a little bit more realistic, but it would definitely be more difficult to figure out where you were supposed to be going. A bent back is a weak back. Bend your knees, keep your back straight. All right. Oh, good. Hate that. Don't touch it. I said if they didn't have things marked with yellow to show you where to progress, that it would be difficult to see where you're supposed to go sometimes. Creepy. Good. Crouching in the vents again. The stuff is taking over. Christ. Don't fucking fall. Don't fucking fall. Don't look at it. I hate whatever that was. Forgot I had a flashlight for a second. Oh, cool.
way. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Okay. All right. Roy. He's blocked the door. Freezer fan. I. Roy. Oh. Cos. You all right? No. Jesus, you're a terrible. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> Those fucking stairs. What the hell is going on? Uh, trots. I, I think it was trots. And then it's just fucking horrible, whatever it is. Just stay in here and keep quiet. Did you get to the lifeboats? Yeah. I fuck knows if they ever work, but they definitely don't fucking work now. I had a wee chat with Renick about it while I was out there. How did that go? Badly. The cunt still reckons we should get to the bird. You think? You got a better idea? Cuz, mate, I'm not gonna make it over the deck. I'm not feeling so good, pal. I think I need my insulin. What? Fucking kidding, Roy. Now? Oh, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, Mr. Bloody Fit and Healthy. I tell you what, I'll have a little chat with my pancreas, shall I, and tell it to pull its socks off. Right, all right, fuck's sake. Could you not just eat some fucking jam or something? Oh, bloody hell, the man's a medical genius. I'll get on the blower to Dr. fucking Spock and tell him not to panic. We've solved diabetes here. It's fucking McCoy. No Spock. He was the point of your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> You think you can manage to get to your cabin? You've summoned there, aye? I'll get to the helipad. Make sure that cunt doesn't he try leaving without you. All right. I'm not useless. I can get there. Listen, uh, uh, when, when you get to the chopper, tell Archie to radio in the support ship. We, 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 we need all the fucking help we can get, Cas. All right, big man, all right. Just be careful, OK? My girls need their godfather in one piece. If Roy dies, this game is a 1 out of 10. Eye of the Needle got back to Roy in the canteen. What do I need to do? Go outside of the deck. Good, this looks great. Mm hmm Listen to those screams, holy shit. I don't like the sound of that. Whatever it is. It's hell. I mean, I know where I'm going. I have to get across to the bird. My Christ, I can barely see the lift to get there with this fog. It's to hide the demons. <laughs> All personnel, this is an evacuation order. Okay, that wasn't clear enough the first time. That means get to the helipad now. It's your responsibility to get there, and we will be leaving with or without you. So, move it. Bastard thinks he can fucking leave us. I would have to say that this game has the best voice acting I think I've ever heard in a game, ever. Oh, good. <laughs> sure we found him. Oh, there's something here. Oh, yeah, there's, yep, mm -hmm, there's something here, and there's a dead person. Cause 
Jesus, Ennis. What are well, you doing up there? That thing will see you. That thing. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Muir, guys. It's fucking Muir. Muir. Jesus. I... Christ. I don't understand, guys. Listen, we have to get to the helipad, all right? Don't get to it, but he came for me. Like, he didn't care me at all. It's no him anymore, Ennis. It's nothing we can do but leave. Save who we can. Ah, uh, uh, you're right. The only way up is the crew lift. We won't let anyone leave. Then we need to get past him. Uh, all right. I'll see you there. But, hey, didn't he be a hero if he hears me, all right? Then don't let him hear you. See you at the lift. I love how they're all talking to one another. Don't. Please! Why can you not hurt me? Whoa. Please, everyone, run. That's so cool. Oh, icky ewy. Okay, 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 we're going. Oh, I want to help. You were. Follow him. <sighs> just keep moving, 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 just keep moving. Rotten. Oh, he's like right here. are so good. Jesus. There's a lift. Not far now. You can hear the helicopter too. I haven't played a game that I've gotten this engrossed in in a long time. Who's this? Christ, Dobby. Oh, Dobby. Dobby's free, sir. Poor bastard.
hope Inez makes it. <gasps> there he is. Who's would be Christ. Are you alright? Can you get out? No. Knew it was coming at me. I just froze. I didn't get out. I got myself in here. But the cargo boys came down and we're right crabs and I clear up now. Are those the hoist controls behind the fence? Maybe I can shift it. Alright. You're a good lad, guys. But then we're gonna bring him here and he's gonna find Inez. What we're doing. You need a lot more than help, my guy. You need a motherfucking exorcist. Look how quick he is, it's creepy. All right, well, let's call him over because we have no sense of, I guess. Nah, that's no way. Wait, wait, what? Ooh. Fuck, that's loud. Go on, Ennis. Save Inez? I did, okay. He doesn't hear the helicopter though, and he's not going for the helicopter, which is interesting. Oh, well, now he's bigger. You should go back and get them. Like hell, we should. You saw them. They're gone. Get a move on. Archite! Oh, Renick! We have to give them more time. You told them to come. What I told them is that we are leaving. And we are leaving. What a now. dick. explodes. I should have kept better than to let you two out the gather. The two greatest minds of your generation united over a bucky. Nobel Prize Committee will be warming up their checkbooks already. Do you seriously, seriously think if you leave the country this will all just blow over? No one's going to chase me out into the middle of the North Sea. My mum always said I'd married beneath me, Cad, but... 
I thought you were smarter than this. I'm fucking doing my best. No, no, you are not doing your best. What do you know about oil rings, you roaster? I'm good with the lecky. Oh, terrace houses, cars, flats, maybe a shop, if you're feeling adventurous. Roy's put in the work. He said I'm up to the job. Oh, for, for God's sake. Roy's a cook. He's a chef. He's a cook. It's just for a few weeks. We'll just let it cool down a bit. Then I'll call Billy Chamberlain and have a word. Talk him into dropping the charges. If you run the polis, I'll give you the jail for sure. When are you leaving? Tomorrow morning. You are shitting me, McCreary. It's the girls' school concert. I'm fucking scum up, Suze. What do you want from me? I'm just saying this, Kaz. If you leave us, if you run, if you go, then we are done. Here we go. Say that I'm, I'm here. Sus. Oh, honey. Fucking hell. Things are unfortunate Things for you. In my mind. Everything breaks. Watch the helicopter yeah, crash. <sighs> Get back inside. Okay. Second phone. Christ, no wonder Rennick was raging. Dear sir, I am seeking information in respect of an incident that occurred in the evening of Wednesday, 27th of August, 1975, at the Duke Public House in Denistone area of Glasgow. Glasgow. The incident is in question involving a serious assault is being investigated by our crime division, who are interested in speaking with speaking to a Mr. Cameron McCleary, who was delivered to be under your supervision under the Bira D oil platform at this time. Cooperation is locating this individual in locating this individual and escorting him back to the mainland is of utmost importance. If contact is made, please inform the GGD at the telephone number above and we will arrange transfer. We will make further inquiries in person at the offices of Kadal Oil LTD. If you are not able to assist us, we are look we blah, blah. We look forward to hearing from you sincerely, Martin O'Hagan, Chief Superintendent. Huh. Hello? Tag, it's Brody. Jesus, the fucking chopper, man. Oh, aye, I saw it. Did you get to the lifeboats? Aye, the busted fucking kid down. Mechanisms are completely fucked, cheap bastards. Dennis, what, McCleary? Just listen, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get to the radio room and call the support ship. It's fucked, man. The fucking crane fell on it. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. Hey. It's Brody. Hey, I know who it is, you daft prick. Listen, that's the generator's failing. If they cut out, we'll be on emergency batteries, so the radios won't work. You're not listening. The radio room is gone. Christ, man. There's other radios, but only one set of Jennies. If they fail, you're going to need to head down there and manually restart them. I'm not going down there again. Fucking gibble. Kaz. If the lecky cuts out, you won't have a choice. You go and do it. No, Kaz, I'm busy. You need to get to the Jennies and stop them from short and got it. <laughs> Jennies, right. Brody. Ah, shit! This would be... This. I think what makes this amply... Like, what amps the scare factor is, like, an oil... This setting is very realistic. And... If you just take out the horror, like the supernatural horror elements of it, if you were on an oil rig in the middle of the ocean and shit is going south, like that's horrifying to begin with. And now we're adding onto it that there's like all of these monsters and things are happening and everyone's a dick, basically, <laughs> besides some certain people. So I think that that is, like, amping the, like, the horror of it all, like, the terror. Because, holy shit. Mir, shut, bruh, what? It's Kaz, who's this? 
God knows how I made it, but I did. Where is everyone? They're all gone. You, you've got to get back up here. Go quickly back up. I just got here. Do it again. Ah, shit. Davros, I... Davros, can you hear me? Hello? Fuck. Oh, well, there's a new person. All right, Mirror, I don't want to deal with your bullshit. Oh, that's right. We have to go deal with Gibbo again. Oh, God. It's fine, everybody. It's fine. Oh, if Roy or Finlay dies, this Hello? game is trash. Anyone in here? I think that we all need to stop calling each other. Because it is not making the situation any better. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill my husband. Re everybody say it with me. Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. I'm a firefighter. I'm a firefighter. Hey, Tab, how you doing? Hope you've had a wonderful weekend. Oh, look at all the coffee mugs I can throw. Or not, okay. Oh, cool, back into the spooky, scary, scary staircase. Here is the shipping forecast for 0630. On Tuesday, December the 23rd. Throttle always jump scares me. I don't even have to be playing a scary game. There are warnings of severe gales in Fair Isle. What the fuck happened then here? Fair Viking, 40s. There are warnings of gales in all areas. Hey, hey, keep your weird tentacle shit out of here. Oh, good. This is great. Here is the shipping forecast. Stop fast. Kick it. Ha! Ho! Yep. I'm okay. Hello? Don't say hello. I have a special place in my heart for like cosmic or eldritch horror, and this game is absolutely scratching that itch that I've been dying to try and take care of. So if you're even remotely into anything like that, this game is for you.